All right, so we're going to go over the formative uh, assessment for a wastewater sewer, sewer lateral calculation and verify that it has enough slope. Um, before we get started, I want to go over, so this is the formula I'm telling you to use. Um, and then if we go down a little bit, this is, uh, the one in yellow is the one that uh, is presented by Project Lead the Way. Um, this is a slightly uh, modified version of this one that I'm asking you to use. I'm going to explain why. All right. So first of all, um, I'm not going to have you convert it to a percentage. I want you to actually calculate the, um, the rise, really the fall. Uh, in inches. Um, so instead of as a percentage, just do it in inches. And um, so let's go over this. So the lateral elevation, that is in feet, minus the sewer crown elevation, that's also in feet, plus um, half the sewer main outer diameter, that's in inches, but that's also why we divide it by 12. So that's in feet. So all of these calculations so far are in feet. And um, what we do is we multiply by 12. So all these calculations get converted to, you know, feet uh, to convert from feet to inches, you multiply by 12. So now that becomes in inches. And I'm going to ask you to calculate the distance also. Um, and so what you do is you divide by feet, right? The distances in feet. And so the units for the slope are in inches per foot, which is what we're looking for because we want it to be one eighth of an inch per foot. All right. So 0 0.125 inches per one foot. So as long as our answer, as long as our slope is greater than 0 0.125, we know that it's inches per foot. So that's the explanation for why we I ask you to use this formula. So all the conversions are essentially done for you. Um, and I feel it's a little more straightforward. All right. So without that being said, let's actually take a look at this example. So the concept is we have our, um, our house here. Uh, and the you know, so I've given you some elevations and the others I've just given you um, just some information. So um, I know the grade elevation, meaning grade means um, outside ground is 650 feet above sea level. So what that means, and then I tell you that the first floor is um, three feet above grade. So that means that this right here, I'll change it to red, is 653 feet and so then the bottom of the floor it's 12 inches thick so that's 652 feet all right and then the lateral invert elevation is 32 inches below the bottom of the first floor elevation so from here to here is minus 32 inches but i have to convert that to feet so um divided by 12 32 divided by 12 is 2.67 so 652 minus um 2.67 feet is let's see 2.67 um 649.33 feet all right, that's going to be a really important um, number here. The street elevation is um, 646 feet. Uh, the sewer crown elevation is six feet below that. So from here to here is minus six feet. So that means that this elevation is 640 feet. And what I need to know is the invert elevation right here. All right, so I know it's a 16 inch outer diameter. So um, I need to do, uh, I need to subtract half of the 16 inches. So I need to subtract. So one half of that is eight inches. All right. So um, let's see, do I actually, well, I mean, technically the, um, the formula takes care of it. So I have all the inf information I, I need right now. So I have the invert elevation. That is the um, 649.33 feet. 
minus the sewer crown elevation, which is 640 feet, plus half the sewer main outer diameter, which is 16 inches. And again, you have to do half of that, and then you divide that by 12. So, and then the distance here is 75 feet. All right, so now what we need to do is just be very careful in the way we plug this into our calculator. So the slope is equal to, and then um, let's open up a big set of parentheses here, 12 times 649.33 minus 640 plus open parentheses 0.5 times 16 divided by 12 close parentheses that closes that parentheses close parentheses again that closes that parentheses and then divide all of that by 75 feet and then close the big parentheses all right so if we type that into our calculator carefully so type it in 12 times parentheses 649.33 minus 640 plus open up a new set of parentheses um, 0.5 times 16 divided by 12 close parentheses close parentheses divided by 75 close parentheses is equal to 1.599 or really 1.6 inches per foot which is greater than the 0 0.125 inches we need, so we are good. Okay, the frost depth, so now we know we have, we meet the minimum requirement of slope, all right, that's the one eighth of an inch. So that one we're good. Um, the frost depth elevation is 24 inches. Does this meet the design requirements? So we go back up here. So um, we know that this here is uh, 32 inches below the ground oops, not below the ground, we know it's 32 inches below um, right there. So we know that if this is plus three feet, and this is uh, a foot thick, so this is not very good scale by any means, so that's three feet up, we went down one foot, therefore this little space here, even though it doesn't look like it, is two feet, all right? And so if we went, so there's two feet, that's 24 inches. And then the, um, we're saying that this is 32 inches, um, that that's 24 inches. Uh, and we went down 32 inches to here. That means the remainder here has to be the difference between 24 and 32. So that would be eight inches, all right? Which is nowhere near enough. All right, um, kind of a confusing thing here, especially since my drawing is really not to scale at all. Um, so no, uh, the sewer uh, lateral invert is only eight inches below grade. Plumbing code says the lateral needs to be two feet below the first floor. Does it meet this re design requirement? So uh, two feet below the first floor. So from here to here, we said it's 32 inches. 32 inches is greater than 24 inches. So yes, it meets code there. All right. So um, we've met some of the code. We haven't met other codes. So this would not be a design that would pass because um, in order for it to actually pass, it need to pass all three of these, not just two of them. Um, but that's how you do this analysis. All right.